Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? So, Update 20 has arrived in Warframe and with it, some pretty nice additions to the game. Octavia, of course, a bard frame, her signature weapons, the Tenera, which is a mastery rank 10 primary rifle that has a spool up time on its fire rate and accuracy, as well as having a sniper odd fire mode. Seems like an okay weapon. The Pandero, which is a mastery rank 7 semi-auto slash based pistol that has an odd fire mode that only all of its remaining ammo into someone's face depending on your aim of course or you might be hitting the ceiling if you have a bad aim like me but with Octavia we also have her Mandacord which is the amazing ability to create our own theme music for her which is going to lead to some amazing creations from the Warframe community you know it will there'll be some deadly tracks but there will probably also be some absolutely horrific ones that you're gonna have to listen to when in game now I've already seen some up on reddit there is one for Darude Sandstorm and of course the epic sax guy which is the one I am currently using totally took it off reddit because I know nothing about creating my own music so that's what I have to rely on you guys the community Octavia herself seems like a really well made Warframe, her abilities synergize really well with one another. Her Disco Ball of Doom will pick up her drum which is her first ability and roll about taunting and damaging enemies. Her ultimate seems to also increase the radius or the range of her drums so you've got more of a, an area of effect to actually taunt those enemies and the damage buff from your ultimate is really nice. Now I think I'll probably have to put about 3 to maybe 4 form on her to get the build that I personally want so expect a few days before I have my Octavia video out maybe on Monday. Limbo's rework is here as well so if you're a Limbo main then you might be welcoming his changes or maybe you won't. I'm not sure if it's a bug right now or not but if Limbo is in the rift then he can't banish enemies outside of the rift and bring them into the rift which kind of feels a little bit weird because he could always do that. It was one of the main features that I really liked about him being able to single out harder enemies bring them into the rift and kill them. Now I'm hoping it's a bug I'm hoping they're gonna hot fix that out but maybe it's not maybe it's meant to be the way it is clans can now earn affinity and rank up by completing research and building rooms in your dojo 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 uh, then you go ahead and you build this ascension altar and then you complete the ascension ceremony and you can get endo each time you rank up and when a clan hits maximum rank you will earn up on 45,000 endo now there is a good chance your clan is already at maximum rank so when you first time interact with it like I did you will already get the 45,000 endo but you will only get this endo for 72 hours after the ascension ceremony has been completed so if your clan has just built this altar then you better interact with it before that time's run out you only have 72 hours if you don't do it then of course you're not going to get that endo nullifier changes are finally here as well they have that projector device above the bubble for you to target and take that bubble down a lot easier hopefully it also means that we shouldn't see nullifier bubbles clipping through ceilings and walls because now the bubbles will move with the same size as the room that they are inside so no more abilities suddenly getting switched off because you stepped on a tiny bit of a bubble that was clipping through the ceiling sapping osprey spawn rates have now been greatly reduced so no more minefields for you to run through which is fucking great because i hate those things but the new corpus mini robots the little robots on kind of rollerblades called the ratel are now in game as well so it's a little bit of a trade-off because their spawn rate has been increased now weapon balances are also live as well like i said in a previous video the tonko changes the similar along with other weapons as well which have had buffs like the panthera or the miter and so on the tonko of course has been forward or tweaked to stop you killing yourself its grenades now need to travel six meters before they arm themselves and blow up so it's kind of a little bit like the Penta. I'm not sure what the way this is going to work with Zephyr. I'm guessing the Zephyr one bounce Tonkor is now obsolete and no longer works. I will need to test that out tomorrow. If that is the case then I will be quite sad because I really liked running Zephyr with the no bounce Tonkor. We've also got the new capture room for taking amazing screenshots of your favourite Warframes in certain poses or killing things or whatever which is awesome for content creators like myself or anyone looking to have some awesome wallpapers of their favourite Warframe. Of course there is plenty more additions in the patch notes for update 20 but I will leave the link to the patch notes in the video's description for you to check out. Expect videos on my channel from Monday on of all of the new stuff in update 20 because tomorrow is Mother's Day in Ireland and I better be a good son and go and spend some time with my mother or I might be outcast. I might however have one or two hours tomorrow to stream on Twitch. I will put up a notification video if that's the case. Let me know what you think of all of the new additions to update 20 whether it's the weapon balances, whether it's Octavia, her weapons, Limbo's rework, whether it's the actual 
actual music for Octavia if you've made yourself an awesome track then by all means share it with me don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching